All right, so if you haven't heard by now, there are some brand new soccer skins coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. The Soccer Skins 2.0. And in fact, the cup to get these skins for free is tomorrow. Talk about short notice. So here's what the official blog post says. We're kicking off 2021 in style by bringing the world of football, or soccer to some, in Fortnite. Football fans can get the new kickoff set and Pele's Air Punch emote on January 23rd, and possibly get them earlier by participating in the Pele Cup on January 20th. So these soccer skins are coming to the item shop January 23rd. That is this Saturday. Now, if you want to win them early, you can participate in the Pele Cup. Starting January 23rd, choose from 10 different variants of male and female outfits and represent your favorite club in-game. Each outfit can be swapped to any of the 23 football clubs we've teamed with from around the globe. And then it lists all the clubs down below. Next, it says Pele's Air Punch Emote. We've partnered with legendary Brazilian superstar Pele to bring his iconic celebration into the game. Celebrate your victory royale like Pelé did 1,282 times throughout his illustrious career. Pelé's Air Punch emote will be available in the item shop on January 23rd. Then it says play in the Pelé Cup. On January 20th, which is tomorrow by the way, Fortnite's football fun gets competitive with the Pelé Cup. Players participating in the cup will have a chance to win the Air Punch emote and kickoff set for free. Top scores will also have the opportunity to win a customized signed shirt. So if you weren't aware who Pelé is, he is probably one of the best soccer players of all time, if not the best. So let's take a look at the official Pelé Cup rules. First of all, the date and time. Obviously, like I said, it starts tomorrow. The event time, for me at least, in central time is five o'clock to eight o'clock p.m., just like the Gref Cup last week. It seems to always be 5 to 8, which kind of stinks because it's right through the item shop review time for me. I hate that. So let's take a look at the rules now. Now pay close attention because there's some things you have to do in order to even participate. Now first off, the scoring system. On this screen right here, it shows something completely different. I think this is wrong. This screen that shows Victor Royale is 5 points, and there's no way. There's no way that you get 1 point for 10th place and then the same all the way down to 75th. There's no way. So in the official rules that they posted, here's what the scoring says. A victory is 20 points, second place is 15, third place is 13, and then it goes till 75th, which really is one point. And then each elimination is one point. So I think these are the real scores, not the one that is showing on the in-game cup screen. So let's take a look at the prizes now. So in Europe, you have to get first, second, or third to get a signed jersey. And it says it's an FC Santos jersey. To get the emote and the skins, you have to place top 3,500. So top 3,500. And it sounds like you get all 10 of the skins, is what it sounds like. You literally get the entire kickoff set. How crazy is that? That's like the biggest reward for a free cup we've ever had. Now for NA East, at least for the first part, it's the same. Top three get the signed jersey. Unfortunately, it's only top 1750 that gets the skins and the emote. For NA West and Brazil, same thing, top three get the jersey, and then top 500 get the emote in the skins. And then lastly, Asia, Oceania, and Middle East, it's the same, top three get the jersey, and then top 250th get all the goodies. By the way, it says the retail value of that jersey is $500. So that's pretty sweet. Now, of course, you do have to be 13 years or older, and you have to have 2FA enabled. Now, in addition, take note of this, because this is something different. It says all eligible players must rank in the open league or higher within arena. So you have to be division one, two, or three, which is super easy to do. It should take you one or two matches to get there. But if you've never played arena this season, you can't compete. You have to be in division one, two, or three. Now I can't find anywhere in the rules that says anything about competing in multiple regions. Normally for these type of cups, you can't. You can only do one single region. And if you do try another one, you get disqualified. So let's say you're an NA East player, you play the cup, you do terrible, and then you try NA West, you can't do that. You'll be disqualified, and even if you do good in NA West, you won't win anything. So that's about all there is to it for the Pelé Cup. I wish we had more time for this, because it's literally tomorrow. You're going to have to change your schedule, your plans. It's from 5 to 8 Central Time, which probably is not going to work for a lot of people. Now, in addition, on the Compete tab, there's also an Atlanta United Cup. Now, this says January 21st. And it says you can win the kickoff set here as well. You can't win the emote, 
but the kickoff set, which is the 10 skins. And then oddly enough for this, the time is only two hours and it's from four to six. So I don't understand that one. Why do you only get two hours for that one? I've never seen a tournament last only two hours. So I guess there may be more cups coming. From what some of the leakers said, all the teams or the clubs that are represented have their own cup. So maybe there's gonna be like 10 different cups, but the only one that you can get the emote and the skins is in the Pelé cup. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about these new skins? Are these something you're gonna buy? And again, they come out on January 23rd, this Saturday. I for one, if my wife lets me at least, will try in this cup tomorrow. I'm not the best at arena-based modes, so I'll probably get clapped, especially since you have to place top 1750. If I couldn't even do that in the Gref Flores Lava Cup, there's probably no way in a normal match that I'm gonna win this skin and emote. There's probably no way that I'm gonna place that high, but it's worth a shot at least. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborCon.